Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And you can see the clouds are still streaming over the Arklatex on this Friday. Although we will begin to see the clouds start to decrease, uh, possibly over parts of the area this afternoon. You can see a few breaks here as I record this in downtown Marshall. And the reason for the clouds again today, the same big upper level low, which hasn't moved a whole lot, uh, has shifted into uh, Tennessee and you can see we're close to the back edge of the cloud cover and as this continues to move away we will see the clouds quickly depart here during the nighttime hours tonight and that'll set the stage for some cooler nights but warmer days heading through ha Halloween weekend. Here's a look at uh, Robin's story to futurecast. You can see the clouds decreasing fairly quickly here during the evening hours this evening as we become clear. The wind also finally will die down. Tomorrow looking at lots of sunshine, uh, still a bit of a northwesterly wind, but it should be more bearable across the area tomorrow. And uh, we will likely see temperatures in the 70s across most of the area. Tomorrow night looking to be another cool and Clear night as we'll see lows well into the 40s across the region. And then for Halloween, expect lots of sunshine and uh, even warmer temperatures and should have perfect weather for trick or treating as we look ahead to uh, Sunday evening. Temperatures likely falling into the 60s. Now, longer range, our next rainmaker is on the way as we look ahead to the middle of next week. Again, our big upper level low moves away. Flat upper level ridging warms us up this weekend and early next week. Then here comes another big upper level low, which is going to kind of settle into the Great Lakes. Upper level disturbance to our west will also scoot across the country. And uh, big variation in the models and how this could look by the time we get to uh, next weekend. Some models do have this low uh, much further to the south and east. So there are still some discrepancies as to what could happen at the end of this 10 day period. Uh, but nonetheless, it does look like we will cool off again as we move uh, past Wednesday and into the la latter half of next week. Now, rainfall potential, again, big variations in the models. I would anticipate seeing a half an inch to an inch pretty much anywhere across the area. This particular model is one of the drier models. Some models do actually have uh, rainfall amounts of uh, one to two inches over the northern sections of the area. This does look reasonable further to the south. Again, I would anticipate a good chance of seeing at least a half an inch with most of that falling Wednesday, Wednesday night, and possibly even during the day Thursday. So here are the details in your forecast for, t for tonight. We're going to be looking at a mostly clear sky. Temperatures will fall into the 40s, 46 in Texarkana, looking at 48 degrees tonight for the low temperature in Shreveport, uh, 47 in Mansfield, 45 in Marshall. Tomorrow, expect plenty of sunshine, pleasant start to it. What's going to be a pleasant weekend as highs will warm into the lower 70s, 73 in Shreveport, 71 in Texarkana, right around 70 in Linden and 70 also for the high temperature tomorrow in Arcadia. 10 day forecast shows that we will see the continuation of the warming trend. Still a bit chilly Sunday morning as temperatures will dip back into the low to middle 40s across the area to start Halloween. And then in the afternoon, 78 for the daytime high with lots of sunshine. We will likely stay in the mid to upper 70s Monday and Tuesday. Good chance of rain Wednesday that could linger into Thursday. And you can see the big drop in temperatures. Highs will fall into the lower 60s. Some of the coldest air of the season so far upper 30s, lower 40s as we look ahead to the beginning of next weekend. As of right now, no rain in the forecast for next weekend, but that could be a possibility. As I mentioned, models are kind of split as to what could happen towards the end of this 10 day period as it uh, does look pretty certain, however, that we will see some rather chilly conditions. So all in all, it looks like uh, improvement on the ways we finally get rid of the clouds, finally get rid of the wind and see warmer temperatures as we head through the weekend.